So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your sixth MongoDB tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to set up Sublime Text with your MongoDB and uh, not kind of loading it like load file and load and like that because it kind of doesn't you know give a feeling of like you're doing something good because uh, moreover as your code gets more and more complicated with objects and documents written on so you would need a text editor obviously because command line is not a very good place to edit things it's just like you are writing one liner or editing one lines one line actually so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straightforward add a build system to sublime text which would allow me to pretty much uh, transfer or basically pipe the code which I'm gonna write this in my script to Mongo behind the scenes so what I'm gonna do is go to tools right there and say build system and create a new build system right and right here you would see all of this stuff actually a single line only so what you need to do is change this or actually just get rid of this and say this is selector to be source.js right shell to be true right and uh, make sure you don't forget a comma right there and say the command which should be there is uh, now you can actually just specify your whole path to mongo but since we have already had that in our path the environment variable so we can just write mongo and we'd be good to go then you need to pipe it to and what to pipe is the file which you are currently working on right so that is how pretty much you create a basic build system as well so that's a bonus tutorial for you so i'm just gonna say this is as mongo and save it now go to your script go to tools build systems and change the build system from automatic to mongo right now what i'm gonna do is let's say uh, this is like uh, our string is hello from sublime uh, I'm gonna say print string and hit control B to build it you can see that we have been shown the mongo shell pretty much similar to this thing right there but inside sublime because this is a build system now so it kind of you know exits as well from the build once it's done coding so it's not kind of an interactive shell you cannot execute commands right here so that is how pretty much you set up a build with mongo and you can just run it multiple times or actually rather you could just say this is math.random so that you kind of believe me a bit more you can see that every time a random number is generated so each time there's a new request so you can pretty much do all that stuff and uh, now you have sublime text supply uh, linked with your mongodb so now what you have to do is in your javascript code just write your mongo code and hit control b and you'll be good to go so that was all for this tutorial but you would kind of need the mongo shell still because uh, of some commands like you cannot just comment out whole of your code or create a new file for testing out just a simple thing like creating an object or displaying something so you know that kind of mongo shell would be still useful but we'd be mostly working with sublime so that was all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one